Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Lunch Table Podcast. And today we're having our guest, Angelia Ham. Izzy, no last name. Um, <laughs> Kelly, no last name. Uh, Haley, no last name. And uh, Luke Franklin. So, and uh, what what would you like to start the topic off as today? How about you, how about you, Angelia? What do you think about Bosnia and Herzegovina's complex political system? I think I think that it's unfair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is that is quite a stunning observation. I must you agree. Say something. Next. <laughs> well, I have no idea. Bosnia and Herzegovina's complex political system. What do you think, Izzy? Bosnia, stop fighting. I can't even hear how <laughs> You know, I would agree stop. with you. Yeah, do you think Bosnia should stop? What no, about... they stop fighting. Well, yeah, I know they're, they're not in a war anymore, but they still have a complex political system. Fuck them. Oh, okay. All right. On to the next topic. Are traps gay? Yeah. yeah. Wait, what? Yes, they are. Are traps what? Gay. What, what kind of traps? Do you not know what a trap is? Like a gender trap? <laughs> you know what a trap is? You know what a trap is? No, it's kind of like like when you think like it's kind of like someone who cross dresses in a way, and you think they're the total opposite gender, and then they happen to be not. Yeah, and, and then they like. Yeah, they're part of the. Uh, yeah, so you'd say they're gay. How about you, Kelly? Do you think traps are gay? No, all right, no, but I'm saying, all right, I, I don't think you understand, like, the specifics of a trap. Like, basically, they're literally luring people of the same gender into having sex and tricking them. Yeah. How about, how about, uh, you, Kelly? Would you agree? All right, well, in what, in what, in what circumstance wouldn't they be gay? How, let's start with that. That's not a trap. Oh, hey, we have another guest coming on this field. Uh, yeah, we're 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 doing the uh, lunch table podcast. So, uh, have any have any words to say? Well, you know. Oh, you're recording. Oops. Yeah. Uh, did you not want to say you have hiccups on my there? <laughs> like, uh, yeah, we're doing a podcast. Yeah, but I'm going to send it to my computer and edit it down. It's for a podcast. Did, did you record the yeah, I've recorded the whole thing so far. Here, just hold your breath. I mean, it does sometimes, actually. J- yeah, that's that means that means that you'll be holding your breath because if you're drinking water really fast, you won't be breathing. That's literally why it works, Angelia. No, yes, it does. Yeah, yeah, we are. Why do you not like discussions about hiccups? No, I'm just saying before the podcast. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. Transition. Now we're on to hiccups. Okay, so anyway. You ever, yeah, you know, you know, hiccups are actually just diaphragm spasms. Yeah. Carly Bloom to the main office. Carly Bloom to the main office. Ah, Carly Bloom. Diaphragm is under your ribs. Yeah, it's like it's like under your lungs. Like imagine where your lungs are, and then it's just like a flat disc that just like whenever you breathe in, it like goes uh, down, and then whenever you breathe out, it goes up. Alright, well have fun on the snack line and then we'll 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 the podcast will be getting back to you once Angelia gets back and also Izzy. Should you pause right. it? What? Pause it. Why would I pause the podcast? No one's gonna be talking. Well, I mean we could be talking, you never know. Like Kelly probably got some interesting insight. <laughs> and she's gone. So Haley. I got nothing. Alright, so Oh wait, Kelly's back. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back to the magnificent lunch table podcast. TM sponsored, sponsored by Adele Computers. No, it's not. Well, yeah, it's not sponsored, but 
I mean, we wouldn't be mad if they offered us a sponsorship deal. I don't think they would. How do you know they wouldn't? Like, uh, you never, you never, you never know th until you try, right? Like, shoot, shoot for the moon, you'll land amongst the stars. Shoot for the sun and you'll burn. What? Well, how are you gonna miss a star? They're all across the sky. And, well, what are you gonna do then? Like, wh where, what if you're not, in, if you're not in gravity, then you'll land among the stars, regardless. Wouldn't you get burned by a star? Well, no, you you would you might no, you'd land no, among no. the stars, not on the stars. So if you land among the stars, they'll just keep floating in gravity. Yeah, yeah but no. Like no, but it's like you'll make it. You'll you'll make, you'll make it. it. You'll make it in the space and just float there. Exactly. Yeah, you'll make it. <laughs> then you're dead. Well, I mean, the the idea would be that you would be wearing protection. You wouldn't want to go out into space naked. Like that's obviously not the right option. <laughs> This podcast just got a lot better. <laughs> like, um, I mean, <laughs> yo, wait, like nothing on at all, just completely naked. Well, I mean, yeah. The idea that the idea is that you get launched into space, right? And you're wearing a spacesuit, and and. Okay, but even if you're wearing a spacesuit, you're still floating in space. Yeah, but. Yeah, but no, but like, well, no, the point is that you'll land among the stars. You'll die a hero among the stars rather than dying like every other person on Earth. No one's gonna care. No one cares. No, hold on. That's, I disagree. You know, everyone, every single person has died on Earth except three people. And everyone cares about them. So... Uh, I'm just saying, if you'd be the f you'd be the fourth person to die in space, and that would be quite an achievement, I'd say. You know, people. I, I think people would probably remember you. I mean, Espe especially if you have like a kid right before you do it, then they'll remember you for the next lifetime. No, they remember you for like a day, and then you're gone. Well, no, they are, their mother mother will tell you them, and then they'll like be like, oh, okay, I had a dad, and then they'll remember you. <laughs> Well, or a mom in your guys' case. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, so, um, anyway, a a Angelia and Izzy are back. They've brought some ice cream to the podcast. Izzy's popping pills over there? Yeah. I'm lactose intolerant. Well, you know, they're, you know, I always say I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Me too. Except I will die. I mean that's that's like yeah that's the best that's the best time of your life I mean life is just a downhill spiral from the moment you're born you start dying so no, you actually all right no you've had this discussion before is he as soon as you're born you get closer to death every day every passing day well, no, that's that's what I, I would consider dying. Getting closer to death means dying. Uh, well, you know, you don't, but every you know that every day you live, you're getting closer to it. Hi, Miss Galici. Good, good. Miss Galici, briefly joining the podcast. Well, I mean, <laughs> like your uh, your mom would be mad and not sad. Your mom would be like, "Oh, that car better not have hit my child, asshole car." You like um. Me neither. Well, I mean, you got you. Did you guys see the Shazam? I don't know. I th I thought it was pretty good. Like it was it was the first good DC movie since Wonder Woman. Like it's. A How was it? It no. was it it was bad. It, did it ruin? Did it ruin? Did it ruin number for you? <laughs> <laughs> 
Like, I mean, I'm probably, I'm probably gonna have to like put captions in for when Kelly's speaking because she's probably not speaking loud enough to be heard by the mic. Oh. I mean, like. I kind of, I kind of figured there's a 90% chance she likes men because statistically there are more straight people than gay people. I'm just saying stereotypes. All right, I'm not gonna continue this conversation. I'm just it, it would, it would be an assumption. It, you know, that's correct, but it would still be a most likely correct assumption. Yeah, I'm assuming, but I'm probably correct, is what I'm saying. What if Kelly likes bears? Well, you know, like, like wait, like people bears or like bear bears? Oh. Like, I well, that, that is a very like, different response for each of those. You have to, like, choose which one you want to respond to. Okay, well then I would probably say that's pretty messed up, as the bear can't give consent. <laughs> Right. I agree with that. Okay, but what if... <laughs> if your dog starts humping your leg, that's not consent, Kaylee. <laughs> if, if the bear starts humping your leg? That's not what consent is. Consent it means that you're willing to do it. A bear might have instincts, but that doesn't mean that they're capable of understanding an agreement of sexual contract. Amen. I agree with that. Yeah, like... Oh, yeah. oh, hey, what's up? We've got... Okay. We're doing a podcast. We've got, we've got Nina in the podcast. Uh, wel- welcome. Everybody welcome Nina. What? 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 Oh, what about the tag? Yeah, it was everything. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Everybody in the podcast, uh, Izzy would like to make it known that she fucking loves ice cream. <laughs> Wait, who are we welcoming to the podcast? She. Nadia. Yes, Nadia. I've I've been calling her Nina yeah, for the past five minutes. Oh, you can't wait too late. I mean, I mean, you like. Huh? You can't wait too late. Yeah, the snack line and the regular lunch is already closed. You could probably still buy something at a vending machine. I don't have money. Yeah, I... What is it? What is it? It's a granola bar. That's so kind of you. Sure. Oh, those are good. For all of you listening, um, it seems as if uh, Kelly has just given Nadia a granola bar. Bar. I'm sorry, podcast. Let me correct that. A nut bar. <laughs> what the fuck are we even doing? We're, we're doing the lunch table podcast. It's gonna happen every day. Probably not. I mean, we'll 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 put it out there and see what the reception is. And if nobody cares, then there probably won't be many more. <laughs> so there probably won't be many more. Is what I'm saying. Okay. But like you never, you never know. Maybe we could like blow up, and then we could do the lunch table podcast every day. Uh, Cold corner, you have a new rival. <laughs> anyway, so let's let's continue the whatever conversation we were having before. Oh, I know. What do you guys think about Liberian ethnic diversity and how it causes problems within Liberia? <laughs> Anything about Liberia? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where it is. I don't even know what it is. Anyway, Africa. Yeah, it's, it's, How was I supposed to know that? It's in Africa, and basically, like, it's it's on the west coast of Africa, and it used to be an American colony. So America would like send a lot of black people there, like you know, because they did like it was like a racist sort of thing because they didn't think the blacks could be like fully integrated into American society. So they wanted them to have their own colony. And so basically the Americanized blacks and the native blacks, there's like a tension between them. And then like the native blacks held had a coup recently and like took over the government. So I mean, that's always... That's fun. Yeah, that's always fun. I now understand why Liberia is a thing. Yeah. <laughs> I said why? It was a thing before America. What? I mean, like, not, not, not in its... 
not in its basic like I, I feel like not like, really like, I mean it was still there Oregon. like the land was still there before America was founded but I feel like you no, know I mean, Liberia and Well, what's on Not entirely. I mean, it, like if, as we know it, took. like Liberia wasn't really like a country in the same way it I is think that we were now. Like, like you know, like it, it's only it's only the way it is because we've transported so many blacks to Liberia. Oh, someone's phone is ringing. Oh my God! I just on my phone. I came down the wrong tube. Yeah. Well, and, uh, I'm sorry. The wrong yeah. Let's like, see. So like far, really bad. so far the podcast has been going on for 16 minutes. You can expect it to go on for another 14. Um, it's gonna be a 30-minute podcast. And anyway, you en- you enjoying your ice cream, Izzy? Yeah. Good, good to hear. How about you, Angelia? Mm-hmm. Is it nice? It's good ice cream. Can you, can you introduce your rock to the podcast? Well, I don't have a name. Yeah, but you can you can still introduce him. Just say my rock or something. My rock plan. It's pretty tiny. I found it outside, and I want to sand it down and make it really pretty and paint it. For all you listening, Angelia just picked up her rock that has been on the table for this entire podcast. That's like pretty cute. Yeah. Alright. Alright, so anyway, next question. Is a hot dog a taco? No. Why no. not? It's bread, not a tortilla. Alright, fine. But can we at least agree, agree it's a sandwich? No. Why not? Because it's covered by bread on three sides. Therefore, it's not a sandwich. Alright, so... Covered on, covered on hold on. Sides. Hold on a second. So you're you're telling me that a hoagie, that's like, you know, it's like bread that's split down the middle. It's not horizontal. No, you can eat a hoagie vertical. That's... You can... That's weird, though. Well, then if you do that, it's a hot dog. So a hoagie is a hot dog if you turn it vertical, and then yeah. a hot dog's a sandwich if you no, turn it horizontal. No, a hot dog's never a sandwich. Why is a hot dog never a sandwich? Because it's a hot dog. What? That doesn't that doesn't make any sense. You're not giving any qualifiers for why it wouldn't be a hot dog. Because it's a two meat. Yeah. So. It's a hot dog. No, that 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 doesn't that doesn't make any difference. It's if it's a piece of meat between pieces of bread, then why wouldn't it be a sandwich? Alright, you can't just say it's just not. Like, yeah. That still doesn't really make any sense. That's not that's not an accurate representation. Like, there's reason. There's actual geometric reasons. No, hold on. You know. We have to question social norms. We have to question things that society has given us but in order to become greater people. And, you know, you can't just accept everything that society gives you. No, because if, if we are thinking about it, like, only like 200 years ago, society believed that, you know, people got sick because of bad air. And people who said it was because of bacteria, they were like looked at uh, as quacks and like crazy people, people who didn't know what they were talking about. It clearly had to be the bad air, miasma. And it it was called miasma. No, it was called miasma, like the gas that was. Oh, Oh, that's what they used in this anime that I was watching. I laughed so hard because it like, you know, put this gas breathing in miasma. (laughs) It it just prepped me up. What? (laughs) You take Viagra? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I mean, I can see you like, you know, going to bed and like being like, oh, let me just take some real quick. You kind you kind of you look like a grenade right now, like with the camo hoodie. For all you listening, uh, uh, Haley has the camo hoodie. All right, so. Anyway, as I was saying, hot dog is definitely a sandwich. Yes. I'm, I'm saying you haven't given any reason why it shouldn't be a sandwich. You you just said, oh, it's because it has to be. You're basically asking, is a peninsula an island? No, I'm not asking. Yes, you are. No. 
No, I'm not asking that because no, I'm saying a hoagie. If you cut it, if if you cut bread down the middle and you put like meatballs in it or something, people call that a sandwich. No, I, that's a sub. Yeah, the subway, a submarine sandwich. That's literally what sub but stands it's for. Not, it's not a sandwich. You don't call it sandwich. It's a sub. So now you. It's, Oh but it's God. a submarine sandwich. But it's a sub. It's All right. So what you're saying is that so, uh, you're saying okay, that subs uh, aren't yes. sandwiches. <laughs> you're making your own claim. Yeah. Well, that's that's yeah. questioning the social norms also. Uh, um. Uh. Well, I guess. Well, I'm all right. If you if you like took the two buns of a hot dog and you separated them, uh, then, then you put them around the hot dog. Would that be a sandwich? Yes, but not socially acceptable. It's not socially it's acceptable not to do that. Or you're not even eat it. It's gonna like fall out. Well, you'll hold it between your hands. Well, usually is a phrase on its own. But I'm asking if you were to do that. Would it, would it be a sandwich? Alright, well, like, let's say I glitch the matrix, right? And I make it so that a hot dog, instead of having three sides, would only have two sides of bread. Yes, we're not in the matrix. Well, you don't know that. What do you mean I don't know that? I mean, how do you know we're not in the matrix? Let's get that straight. Well, oh, so you, you're, you're, you're subscribed to the Descartes theory of I think, therefore I am? What? That doesn't make sense. Why is that related to the Matrix? <laughs> you know what? I really can't find the answer. No, I'm saying, I'm saying we could be in a computer right now, and none of us would be any of the ones. Wait, but how does that make it two pieces of bread? Well, like, because if... Alright, so basically we're, if we're inside of the matrix, right, then that would explain why people are so unwilling to call a hot dog a sandwich. Because it's programmed into their brain that it's not a sandwich. Don't change their minds. Yeah, well, I mean, that's, that's human nature more than just Americans. We're, as humans, we're less likely to change our minds. <laughs> For all of you listening, there's a meme on Instagram, and basically it's Spider-Man uh, and talking to Tony Stark, and he says, "So no head?" question mark. And then I love that meme. Proceeds, so much. <laughs> and then Spider-Man proceeds to turn into dust. I literally love that meme so much. So no head. Going around and stepped on and stepped on the board. <laughs> yeah, so no head. So no head. Some kid walked on my bus and that was the first thing he said. That was like, okay. Sounds like some would say. He's like, so no head. <laughs> Wait, yo, we gotta cut this part out of the contest. Wait, just say it's like 18 plus. 18 plus the um, podcast made by people who aren't cool. Uh, yeah, no, no one at our school can listen to it if it's 18 plus. Well, well, I mean, yeah, like, or people who just don't care. Yeah, yeah like rebels. Anyway, um. Uh, yeah, so we got we got five minutes left. Let's have a lightning round, okay? Angelia, what's your takeaway from this? Podcast. What? What? What's the what last thing you want this podcast to know? This podcast sucks. Literally, so no head. That's so no I head. Thought. Okay, that's the highlight of the, this <laughs> podcast. All right. How about you? Oh, All right. Well, I'm I'm gonna get back to Izzy, but right now we need to do the main characters. So we beat on Ooh, offended against the current. <laughs> Holy shit! Wait, we have to fight now. Not that thought. He because said we're doing character. the main character. Get me. So now I we said, have to I fight. said first, alright? No, now we have to fight. Alright, Izzy, what is your takeaway then? Um, hot dogs are not sandwiches. Okay, and my takeaway is hot dogs are not sandwiches. Alright, well, what's your takeaway? Okay, well, then you don't get a takeaway, I guess. Like, I don't know, I don't know why I have to go, I don't know why I have to go in clockwise yes. order. 24 minute podcast. Well, yeah, yeah it, you know, soon it's gonna be like a 30 minute podcast because there's five minutes left.
right. Yeah, but I don't. I don't know why you're mad that I'm not going in clockwise order. Like it's not that big a deal. God, the podcast can't even see us. I'm gonna get back to you guys. Jesus Christ. No, I don't want to be in anymore. <laughs> all, all right. my audio out. Wow. Did you pick up that thing off the floor and put it over there? She literally smiled. She literally smiled and took it for herself. Oh, 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 yeah. Why, why would you? For all of you listening on the podcast, Nadia picked up a dime and gave it to a lunch monitor. And then the lunch monitor took it, and Angelia is pretty upset about that. Anyway, now now we have to say grace for the podcast. No, no, Everybody no, grab hands. Like, if you find someone's wallet on the floor, who returns the money inside? Like, return the wallet. Take the money out or return the wallet. You're, you're right. <laughs> like, you're right. I'll, I'll leave the credit cards. I'll just take the cards. Yes. And no. maybe gift cards. But Nadia has to be a good Samaritan and put the money on the couch. <laughs> so, anyway, everybody grab hands. What? The We're saying grace. Oh, no. No, we have to say grace to the podcast. Grace. I said it. Amen. Man, that one's a real knee slapper. For everyone listening, I just slapped my knee. For everyone listening, I just slapped my knee. Basically, grace is going to be the prayers are a waste of your eating time and you should just be grateful for what Yeah, I mean, you know, there is no higher power, so I don't usually worry about it, but I feel like for the way we got to pray for our podcast to be successful. <laughs> Like, like, yeah, there isn't, but we have to say grace for the podcast. That's why I don't say grace anymore in my house. Why do you say grace? (laughs) Well, because you gotta, you gotta have, we gotta have grace that we were able to do the, uh, that we were able to do the podcast. Anyway. So yeah. this has been What's up the, last one? the April 8th podcast and you know in a few minutes we should be wrapping it up. <laughs>